like uh to be uh you know keep that uh out of the media but i think if it was a white person they wouldn't they wouldn't do that it would it would, it would come out Three black men are suing Fort Worth-based American Airlines. They allege company employees appeared to remove all of them from a flight over a complaint about body odor. The men are telling their story. It never ends. It never ends, man. <laughs> Why couldn't that be the flight I was on? <laughs> Three black men are suing Fort Worth-based American Airlines. They allege company employees appeared to remove all of them from a flight over a complaint about body odor. The men are telling their story to CBS's Chris Van Cleve. We're the only ones getting taken off the plane. This video at the center of a newly filed lawsuit against American Airlines appears to show a number of black men after they've been removed from a flight allegedly due to a complaint about offensive body odor. So this is discrimination. The lawsuit claims they look like Africans, though, man. Yeah, they don't. They look like Africans. When I flew out of the when I flew out of the dark continent, I had to sit next to a guy that made my fucking eyes water. He was so far from the bath. He's African, man. He's these these goddamn booty scratches, man. I, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's when I went to Germany, it was like that too. You you could smell some of the people on the plane because in some countries they just don't wear deodorant. They consider it poisonous. Bro, the bro, Africans in Philly be smelling like seasoning salt and fucking cassava leaf, bro. Damn sure do. Yeah, this is yeah. Africans they wear cologne. They'll put cologne on, on top of funk. So yeah, it's 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 just a culture thing. Yeah. Center of a newly filed lawsuit against American Airlines appears to show a number of black men after they've been removed from a flight allegedly due to a complaint about offensive body odor. So this is discrimination. The lawsuit claims as flight 832 from Phoenix to New York was finishing boarding in January. American employees removed eight black men from the plane. So are these were... migrants? Are these guys that came across the border? Because Phoenix, they're coming from Phoenix to New York. Yep. That sounds Hot like spot. they crossed yep. the border. Yep. Yeah, they probably didn't take the shower since they left there. Fucking, they left. And bro, <laughs> remember, I was just out there. Yo, it's a lot. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of Patels. It's a, a lot of Asians. Influx of them. Mm. And that last shower they had was in cow piss. Mm. Yeah, so these guys, you listen, man. If they, I, I believe, I can believe they stink, man. I, I can believe that, man. I ain't even gonna lie, I can believe that. That's a long flight to Phoenix to, um, that's at least, um, five hours. I would say that's a four and a half hour hours. flight. Yeah. Reporting in January, American employees removed eight black men from the plane. They were not traveling together, weren't seated next to each other, did not Damn, know. Yeah, so they, they wasn't oh, even. <laughs> oh, shit, they Yo, wasn't it's giving even. us a bad image, bro. I ain't going to lie. So, so either crazy. it was straight up racism or they really did fucking smell. It's one or the other. Yeah, like this time, like this flight crew was like, yeah, we going to be racist. In 2024, <laughs> not let black people on the Yeah. Shit. Know each other and appeared to be the only black man on the flight, according to the suit filed early this morning. As I got my things and walked to the front of the plane, oh, this and is made a left. Haitian, man. Emmanuel Jean Joseph. It's a Haitian, man. Goddamn funky ass Haitian, man. And to the jet bridge, I noticed that there was seven other black men, and that kind of oh, now y'all all cleaned up and shit. <laughs> this shit. Oh, yeah. look at them. They wasn't looking <laughs> nothing <laughs> like this on the plane. Hell no. These <laughs> the niggas made sure they movements. looked like they washed up in the last Cat three or four hours. Over here. <laughs> no, come on. You know the gliders and the juice crew are going to dress them up nice. Come on. You know that. A little bastard on the end looks like he's about five foot even. What the hell's he wearing for a belt buckle? Hubcap? 
These people. They made man. sure they, they look like they don't stick at the Yeah. They went and took these, these, they gave these dudes a spa day and everything. <laughs> got their skin exfoliated, man. Got their fucking goddamn, uh, fuck what they call it, salt rub, a salt and honey rub. <laughs> Do <Dude, man, laughs> that. Got the fingernails painted. He's more. <laughs> I don't know. It's like. Okay, what's happening here? So. For plaintiffs, Emmanuel Jean Joseph, Alvin Jackson, and Xavier Veal, flight eight. Oh, Alvin Jackson, you used to be the son, man. This man. nigga was ethnic than a motherfucker. Uh, he was funky. You f- oh, he might be from he might he could be from an island though. Alvin Jackson, that that's a that could be an island name. Yeah, y'all out here stinking, man. Y'all, y'all funky motherfucker. God damn. Okay, what's happening here? So- For plaintiffs, Emmanuel Jean Joseph, Alvin Jackson, and Xavier Veal, flight 832 was a connection. They'd taken an earlier flight from Los Angeles without issue. I was just black man, so I started free. You you t- took a flight from 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 Los Angeles, so then people from Los Angeles were just polite, man. It was like, it's a short flight, Los Angeles to Phoenix, we can take this shit. The people from Phoenix to New York, they was like, nah, man, I ain't about to sit on this one for five hours. <laughs> Wait man. a minute, there's only three of them. Just Where's black the other man. one? They probably, yeah, they probably still getting scrubbed down. <laughs> they get hosed down in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they like, yo, they, they probably like, yo, these two, man, these two, this, we got these, <laughs> these three are presentable. The other four, they they just ain't making the cut. Yeah, man, these <laughs> they just was on the fight, smelling like booty head and a three five. <laughs> this funk won't, this funk won't give way, man. This, 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 just put those three on there. We, we, we're still working on these two, and that kind of. It's like, okay, what's happening here? So- For plaintiffs, Emmanuel Jean Joseph, Alvin Jackson, and Xavier Veal, flight 832 was a connection. They'd taken an earlier flight from Los Angeles without issue. It was just black men. So I started freaking out. I pulled out my phone to record everything. At any point, did somebody from American say to At any-, any point, did any other people of other races think and like? The high heavens like y'all did. <laughs> How about that part? How about they say, hey, man, there was a white guy in there that was smelled like pure ass, man, and he didn't get taken off the flight. That's what yeah. I believe is racist. <laughs> they must have smelled like a, like fucking straight up bums from the city. Like a bag and of broken like, dicks or something. Yeah, like there's, they're like, I'm sure a lot of you have been to the city, man. You get Sometimes the bums, they stink so much, like you can't get next to them. Like there's like an invisible barrier of stench, and you literally yeah. bounce off of it. Like you can't, yeah. your brain just can't handle it. And that's probably what these I've guys smell there. like. You know, I've, I've been there with my shoes. Like, like I, I, I remember times my shoes have gotten wet, like walking in the rain or something. And then I'm wearing them, and I'm wearing them, and I'm not knowing that my shoes smell like madungo, right? <laughs> Cause I'm nose blind to it. And somebody got to be like, yo, dog, your feet, yo, your shoes. You need to don't try to wash them. Just throw them shits in the trash. My G. I've been there, man. It can happen. You can get nose. It's called nose blind. I, yeah, I can't front on this. Uh, we some, some of us do have some odors. I'm Americanized, so I don't stink like them. I already knew once they said the smell, I was like, it was Haitians. I already yeah. knew. Well, there's there's something like, I don't mean to be offensive, but there, I mean, everybody. No, it's smells, not. It's not offensive. But, but like, but like, there's something about some African people that like their stink is like a spice. It gets in like the back of your nose. <laughs> nah, like, you know, it's like a spicy, it's like a spicy nah. BO, man. It, gets right. it, 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 it made my say. eyes water. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I lived with, he lived with the gothic dude now. Yeah, listen, I had two rooms. I had one at the Quaker school. This motherfucker was rank. He was like a punk rocker dude. He wasn't he wasn't goth, but he was like he was just like a you know a white boy. And this motherfucker stank so bad that literally like I had to get I had to get a new roommate and all my shit stank just living in the room with him. 
he stank to the yeah, high. Yeah, but the, it, 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 I'm not saying that white people can't stink bad. I'm just saying the smell no, is different. No, it's different. But y'all, different, stink no, oh, different races yeah. smell differently. Yo, y'all stink. Agree. Y'all stink is on your diet. Y'all, yeah. y'all stink is a cute. It, the, the white boy stink, and then the one I had in college, the goth dude was my first roommate in college. Cause they just put you with, they didn't let you choose. They put you with whoever the fuck you put with. This motherfucker's smell was sharp. It was putrid. Like he never took a shower in his life. It seemed like, and it smelled like I'm talking about smell like cheese mixed with. Yeah, I'm not talking about that kind of stench. I'm just talking and, about like your your work. You you you're a clean person, but you're working out. And you perspire. Like there's a much. certain stench. Yeah, there's a certain st- I don't know if it's maybe it's because some of the oils that some black people put on their skin. It's not all black people, but to some of them, there's just a certain smell. That's yeah, pheromones, it's, 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 yeah, diet. Yeah, because you know, blacks are musty. We, we must. We get musty when we when we when we sweat. Yeah, yeah so, I'm not talking about like body odor. I'm talking about like sweating. It's just odd. Yeah. But it's funny too. It's funny because, contrary to the belief, a lot of Haitians do dress up like this on a on a regular. They do dress up like this, but they put they smell like food and cologne and some other shit, and you're like, ah, it's not a good look. Yeah, man. Listen, listen, man. I, white people smell like hell when they don't bathe often, man. So I I don't I think like like you said it's different. All the smells are different, but they all fucking stink. Any of you that you had an offensive odor? No. No. The lawsuit claims over the course of about an hour, the men were kept in the jetway and then moved to the gate area where they were told they'd be rebooked on another flight to New York. Let's ask this woman, this this black woman right here, this, I wonder if she think they stink. Yeah, ask that poor bitch locked in the jetway with them. She'll say yes. Listen, man. If, 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 listen, let's be let's keep it a buck, man. If it was marijuana smell, like say they smell like weed, and people were like, yo, I'm offended because this is weed smell on drink, but that would be different. But for it to be body odor, and everybody be like, yo, like, because think about it if you stinking, the stewardess has to come back there and be like, man, what's your problem? And you'd be like, oh, this guy next to me stink, and, and, and they're like, Oh yeah, you got a couple of me. Like, think about it. The stewardess was like, or well, the steward or well, flight attendants were like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> come with me. <laughs> like, what it takes for that to happen, and yeah. being black. Think about it. You being black raises the threshold. This whole right. notion that because they're black, they no, you would have to smell like a landfill. For to be taken off a plane if you're black, and no doubt they did. <laughs> yeah, where they were told they'd be rebooked on another flight to New York later that day, and alleges an American employee indicated the complaint about offensive body odor had come from a white male flight attendant, a gate agent. Was a flight attendant, and he was white, so that means so the white male flight attendant. These were the first black people he's ever seen in his life. <laughs> he's like, yo, white people on black people on the plane? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Yeah, the first black people he's ever had on a plane. <laughs> like, they let Mohammed on the plane with a fuse coming out of his shoe, but they're going to throw these black guys <laughs> off for no reason. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. From a white male flight attendant. A gate agent seen in the video at one point seems to agree race was a factor in the men getting pulled off the flight. Just because of the color of my skin. Okay. <laughs> of course, Shaniqua thinks it's good. No, nah, I disagree with that. Yeah, they bugging. Of course, Shaniqua. Shaniqua's never going to say it wasn't race, man. Salute to the Black Queen holding us down. Yeah, Shaniqua was like, once you see these shit, you know. <laughs> he was like, yeah, it was race. He'll, she'll, she'll side with these guys she just met over her co worker she worked with. For 20 years. Seen in the video, at one point seems to agree race was a factor in the men getting pulled off the flight. 
just because of the color of my skin. Okay. Okay. While he's sitting there, while she's sitting there holding her breath, she's like, okay. <laughs> it's just because the color of my skin. Yeah, right. You're Whatever right. you say, sir, just get the fuck away from me. <laughs> right. now, now like sitting there stinking like pig pen. Remember how I used to have them them stinky vibers coming up off of him? <laughs> Yeah, man, this is crazy, and man. I remember how you said back then. I know back then she would have never defended him. She be like, "Ew, he hates you. He stank." I know. Oh, yeah, I already was, know. If she was a passenger on the plane, oh yeah, she would have been texting her friends, "Girl, this girl, this nigga, this motherfucker stink. This nigga stink like shit next to me, man." God. <laughs> Yep, in the ninety, the nineties and the eighties, we used to get tormented. So I know. Yeah, it was a factor in the men getting pulled off the flight. Just because of the color of my skin. Okay. Okay. I do not disagree. But when another flight to New York couldn't be found, they were put back on the same plane. Oh! I had to go back on the plane with everybody. <laughs> Yo, so you get taken off and smelling like ass, and then they they held the plane. Think about all those people. They held the plane all that time. You sitting on the plane, you like, yo, why the fuck we not moving? And it's cause these cause it was black guys and they had to make sure every, everything black guys are sweet to treat is special, man. They held the plane up just in case. Like, yo, they probably was like, yo, go in the bathroom and wash up right quick. You know, with some hand soap, get some hand soap and some paper towels and wash up right quick. Man. Right, do a bird bath, do something. A Puerto Rican shower, man. Take a Puerto Rican shower, man. In the fucking bathroom. Is that what that's called? We called it a bird bath. <laughs> they put them in a the luggage department. Yeah, they strap them underneath the plane. <laughs> Time to the wings like them, I, them Afghanis. Yeah, leave them. You know, for me. <laughs> That'll blow the stink off you. Found <laughs> They were put back on the same plane. Had to go back on the plane with everybody looking at us, you know. For me, yeah, man. Like, like, oh, I was. Yeah. I would have loved to hear the audible groan when the fuckers got back on the plane. Oh my god! Can you imagine the turbulence shaking their stank off everywhere? <laughs> In mid-flight, little shit, little stank particles floating all over. Yeah, the freaking captain's like, "We're entering some turbulence. Hold your nose, please, for the stanky Haitian." Yeah, we ain't got filters <laughs> enough for this shit. I would have called out. I would have called out from the ground. All, all the gas All the oxygen masks. Right. No, yeah. sir, you can't. Drop the mask. No, sir, you can't roll your window down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quit beating on the window, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you make it look like this thing. You got that little plastic fork and you're trying to shatter the window with it just to no avail. I say you what I would have they were put I would have at least put them all in the same spot. I would have been like, you guys are on the back corner, everybody switch seats. All right. Y'all can't be occupying different sections in the yeah. plane. <laughs> fucking yeah, smell fucking each other. And, and, and break off their AC vents up above. <laughs> so yeah, really? so it ain't working. Y'all bring all this. Like it can't be this fucking this distribution of funk all over the plane. Like, no, we need to concentrate y'all all to the same area. Then they would have bitched about not having any fly pie to eat on the trip. They were they were trying to save a lot of trouble, but it didn't work out. Yeah, but you gotta make sure they're in the front of the plane because if you put them in the back of the plane, you're gonna have Rosa Park problems. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> gotta put them so far up front. Now with DEI, they're sticking them in the cockpit. Motherfuckers on the front of the plane smell like a goddamn mosquito cake. <laughs> Yo, but the, I, I will admit, though, like, that had to be embarrassing as fuck. Imagine if it was, like, some cute girls, like, coming back from, like, vacation and shit. <laughs> and, shit. and you got to come back on after you've been taken off for fuck. And then think about it. Now, now like, people is, like, all right, let me see what's really good with this. <laughs> let me get this a whiff, man, just so I can see what's, what all the fuss is about. I'm sure they already had a whiff. That's how it happened. 
Oh man, that's yeah, they need to give you some for for my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my God! They need to spray they some for. Fe- hopefully, they hit him with some Febreze or some shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> you need something. You need something with bigger teeth than Febreze, man. Uh, this this probably what they did. They probably like dropped the uh fucking air fr- a car freshener inside all they bags and just let them back on. I mean, inside one all they pockets, just let them back on. Just give oh, them a new man. car wash, fucking air. Car that shit, put a Christmas tree in each pocket and put them back on the fucking plane. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy, man. Yo, that I learned my lesson a long, long time today. ago. <laughs> We're traveling on SEPTA, yo. I, I bought a little travel uh, Lysol, and I got like one of those little portable cologne-type joints in there. Whenever I come across it, <laughs> spray it out real quick. Yeah, Never even noticed it. So that would be fucking balling, especially the O. Uh, Yo, tell me about it. These dudes right here, though, man. God damn, man. That that they when they walk back on there, man, I know their heads was hanging low, man. It fucking no eye contact or nothing, man. I know the people who had to sit there, who they had to sit next to. It's like it's like that's like a nightmare, man. It's like, yo, I thought like when you see the like in a scary movie when the um villain is dead at the end of the movie and then you see him twitch and you know it's gonna be a part two. Right, you see that high <laughs> wink is a oh fuck. It's gonna be a sequel and shit. It's like fucking the sequel to the scary movie, man. Like what the fuck? Very uncomfortable. Everybody's staring at me. Me and all the other black people on the plane were just taking off. I knew that as soon as I get on that plane, a sea, a sea of white faces were, were going to be looking at me and blaming me. Oh, a my God. A sea of white faces. As opposed to the to sea that the black faces saw. Right. Go, back to your, um, go back to your 98% black country. Then, yeah, really. Right. They always got <laughs> shit. And, and they were looking at that phone. little guy because with that belt on, they thought he was a fucking WWE character or something. I thought that nigga was Kofi Kingston. <laughs> God, man. I was I just knew that it was gonna be a sea of white faces. Look, that's racist as hell, man. As soon as I get on that plane, a sea a sea of white faces were, were going to be looking at me and blaming me for their late flight of an hour. Their lawyer, Sue Huta, says American declined to give her clients any answers about what happened in Phoenix. It's almost inconceivable. I was to see her look at her face. But yet her, the lawyer is white. You see? Yeah. yeah she got a white look face, too. Look how far she's sitting away from him. <laughs> <laughs> her lip is coated with fucking mentholatum. <laughs> 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 what we'd have to do is put mentholatum in our mustache and we went to a burn unit with a bunch she of. Probably you know, gave it in spraying, spraying air fresh. Like I, I do this with everybody. Like oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do that I bitch had the. She had the yeah. janitor burn those fucking chairs. <laughs> yeah, I do this with all my white clients. Yeah, this is yeah. my allergy spray. <laughs> my nose. I got allergies. Let me just. We burn there. all our guest chairs. It's kind of like a thing <laughs> we do. Yeah, the tradition. I'm wondering what are the uh, what are the other five black dudes? Why aren't they in on this too? Right, that was my point because, earlier. Because they know it's horseshit. We don't yeah. talk like this. We don't no, talk like this. Haitians don't. They're just doing this new shit. Now the the other two are probably represented by a different lawyer, or they're probably. Still getting like, like seriously, probably still getting washed down. Man. Yeah, they're too fucked up to make a good picture. Yeah, you know, listen, man, this this. And I I'm not saying that guy's a fan, but he's seen a couple of dicks up close. Because here's the thing: I like, <laughs> if uh, if the if all if if what they're saying is true, that basically eight people all black. Like, that sounds like a slam dunk, right? So I'd imagine everyone wants to get in on that case. It seems like an easy one to win. Yeah, but the other four are used to clicks and snaps and shit speak-wise, so they not, they don't understand what's going on. Yeah, this guy right here, though, the, the 
homie right here and homie right here. This Kyrie Irving, I don't know who the fuck this is. This is fucking that's, Mr. Cheeks and shit. That's the superhero with the belt. Fucking, that little uh, fella. Yeah, it's Kofi yeah. Kingston. Yeah, but j- j- her, man, she she is always a white woman. Always a white woman. Huta says American declined to give her clients any answers about what happened in Phoenix. It's almost inconceivable to come up with an explanation for that other than the color of their skin, particularly since they what didn't know. What about the content of their body odor? <laughs> yeah. How about Which they smell sick? <laughs> well, yeah, they, to- they gave you a reason. You just don't like it. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're not judging by the content, the color of your skin. We judge you by the content of your underarms. The skank from your balls. <laughs> Get out of here. Nation for that, other than the color of their skin, particularly since they didn't know each other, they weren't sitting near each other. It seems fairly apparent that race was part of this dynamic. Or DNA. The lawsuit cites other recent incidents where passengers have alleged being discriminated against by American and a 2017 NAACP travel advisory urging members not to fly the airline. It was lifted about eight months later. We were discriminated against. The entire situation was racist. Do you think if you were anything other than a black man, this would not have happened? If I was a white person, it probably wouldn't have happened. I think they- How can you oh, say that? Boy. Just like earlier story, we saw the white dude got hit by the police car, the black dude got hit by the police car. It was like the same thing. Both of them ran, both of them got run down by police cars. One survived, one died. Yeah, but you, as a son, you can ignore every instance of that happening and still just be like, no, it's because I'm black. Yeah. I love how they how they bring in the NAACP travel advisory. Like, those guys are some sort of serious organization that, like, like they're just a bunch of retards. It's like, well, in the sun uh, mine, they are right. They kind of are a serious <laughs> yeah. thing for bro, them. Those are, those are actually this. I mean, they're retarded, but those are the sun elites, bro. That's yeah, the that's, yeah. It's like the Mensa of sun community. Support the channel via PayPal Cash App with a super chat. Hit the like button. Everyone hit the like button, man. Take the five dollar challenge. Um, this is this is this is. <sighs> Very interesting story, man. Very interesting story. I wonder if anybody else will cover this, man. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Nominated against by American and a 2017 NAACP travel advisory urging members not to fly the airline. It was lifted about eight months later. We were discriminated against. The entire situation was racist. Do you think if you were anything other than a black man, this would not have happened? If I was a white person, it probably wouldn't have happened. I think they would have walked past like the other white passengers that were there. CBS Legal Analyst. Yeah, but the other white passengers didn't smell like ass and feet. I think they would have walked past like the other white passengers that were there. CBS Legal Analyst Ricky Kleeman. The plaintiffs may really have no interest in money, and they may have a sincere interest in making a public statement about racial discrimination by a major airline. Is this kind of case a tough one to win at trial? Hell the no. question at trial really is about what are the protocols? No, the question is, did they stink or not? We want to yeah. bring in witnesses. I want to bring in several people from that plane, all the flight attendants, because for them to be taken off of the plane, like that's not a small thing. We, we have to like stop this bullshit. Like, it's just like, a flight attendant comes back and says, oh, all right, um, all right, y'all get off the plane, and then he walks back and c- continues serving, uh, continues, you know, serving drinks. Nah, these motherfuckers wasn't just immediately like, yo, you had to, like, they probably had to, like, go through a bunch of shit. It was probably a scene on that plane. Well, they probably not- had to call, hold on, hold on, Bill. They probably still he even had to call the police, have police come on there. They probably had to, like, they 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 held the plane for them, so they probably it was probably an entire um airline thing. Like the the whole airline was probably involved in that. That whole like um airline port, everybody there was all hands on deck involved on that. A plane's being delayed, so that makes other planes that affects the whole fucking airport. Other you're supposed to leave at fucking two thirty two. 
And now you're not leaving. So now other planes get to leave and other planes come. Da, 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 da. That shit disrupted everything. This was not just something like, hey, you, you, and you, you off the plane. It was like, okay. <laughs> nah, motherfucker, that was a scene. So we need witnesses from that plane to appear in court and tell us these dudes wasn't stinking. Agreed. And hooked hook to some sort of death causing lie detector. Because it, they'll just, oh no, these guys didn't stink. No, 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 no. It was all racist. Because they're fucking scared to say something. Yeah, man. I'll tell you, I think it's just got to get to the point where, you know, you got to grab some white guys, take them to the back, and go, okay, everybody draw straws. One of you smells too. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You know, sorry, Tommy. <laughs> you got to go. Tom, you got you to take one for the team. You stink. And go with no, the other no. black guy. No, no cap though. That like that would have been. That's what I would have done too, man. Like I would have taken. I would have looked for like, you know, the trashiest looking white dude on there and been like, yeah, because it's just like in the public schools. Like if you suspend yeah. a black kid, you got to suspend a white kid. It got to be one to one. No matter what Damn. the behavior differences is, it's got to be one to one. Now these stewardesses are getting out of fucking hand anyway. Ever since the COVID bullshit, they're like uh, hall monitors mixed with Hitler. Would have walked past like the other white passengers that were there. CBS legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. The plaintiffs may really have no interest in money, and they may have a sincere interest in making a public statement about racial discrimination by a major airline. Is this kind of case a tough one to win at trial? The question at trial really is about what are the protocols of American Airlines. And they better have some, and they better have done something with these particular employees in terms of discipline after this action. American tells CBS News it takes all claims of discrimination very seriously and says in a statement, our teams are currently investigating the matter as the claims do not reflect our core values or our purpose of caring for people. The lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix. Yeah, you guys are right. And on that note, man, same black time, same black channel. I'm out of here. Peace out. Peace. Good night.